This morning, President Putin asking Russia for six more years. He's already been its leader for 24, changing the constitution so he could run again. NBC News was at this central Moscow polling station when it opened. 90-year-old Nina Kisilova lived through Stalin. Today, she voted for Putin. I really trust him, she told us. I trust only him. We live well, says Svetlana Kulikova. That's why I voted for Putin. International election monitors will come from 106 countries, Russia says, including China. But independent Western observers are not welcome. For the first time in a Russian presidential election, there's electronic voting. Did you vote electronically? Da. Do you trust that? Yes, of course, she says. President Putin undoubtedly still popular here, but young Russians are less enthusiastic. 22-year-old Yulia, who didn't want to give us her last name, told us she won't vote, laughing, it's clear who's going to win. This is the first national election since Russia's illegal invasion of Ukraine. People in the Ukrainian territories occupied by Russia are voting under martial law. A Russian bear is the star of a Putin election video on state media. Don't put him in chains, it says. The Kremlin ensuring Putin is effectively unopposed. All the other candidates support Russia's so-called special military operation. Even the wives of Russian servicemen laying flowers for their loved ones to come home have been threatened with arrest in recent weeks while Putin's strongest opponent, Alexei Navalny, died in prison and was buried last month. This week, his wife, Yulia, called on the West not to recognize the election, while one of Navalny's top aides in Lithuania says he was beaten with a hammer this week. In a video with a broken arm, he vowed, we will not surrender. And back here live, Craig, there is that transparent ballot box filling up. You can see uh, somebody voting. But in another polling booth here in Moscow, we're just getting video of a woman dropping blue dye into that ballot box. Clearly, there is still opposition here. Craig? Our chief international correspondent, Keir Simmons, on the ground force there in Russia. Keir, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.